welcome back to a new video in today's video i'm going to be doing a gel set on my faithful flexi hand and this is from the flexi finger australia i'm going to leave the link on the screen there and it'll be in the description box below anyway um and a discount code because we all like discount codes uh, you can get 10 percent off the glitter i'm using is from nail sugar as always um, and i've got these really gorgeous mixed autumn leaves i love these so much Oh, I love them. The glitters I'm using are the Chameleon Confetti. This one is called Charmed and it's more of a sort of goldy brown. And then we've got Karma, which is a kind of greeny, pinky purple. But the, they change, like depending on how you look at it, they'll look slightly different colours. They're really gorgeous. And I'm going to be using my Bling Line Gel, which I have absolutely fallen in love with. I'm using the Cover Gel in Warm Pink. Um, this is a high viscosity gel, so it's it's not self-leveling. It's going to pretty much stay where you put it. Um, and then I've also got the Cool One Step Gel. This is the clear. This is what we're going to use to cap. So this is a self-leveling gel, as you can see. Um, it's, it's a mover. Uh, it doesn't move too quick though that it runs all over the place then um color wise we're going to use tessa she's the most amazing metallic brown i'm not a big fan on brown shades of gel polish but these two um this is i don't know would you call this a really light brown i'm, I'm not sure but this has got a gold shimmer through it i just think they're lovely oh my god tessa is so nice mm. and i am also using meredith which is also Oh, you know you get those ready purple leaves this is the color this is the cut this is just it isn't it like oh um, i love it i love them so much mm. uh so the brush i'm using is my size 8 chroma gel brush this was from amazon so just search um size 8 chroma brush gel brush and you'll find it i'm going to use this to create my smile line um so i please remember i'm not qualified in gel yet um hopefully i will be qualified soon um so until then i'm just going to sort of tell you how i did it but this is not how you do it this, this is probably not how you do it properly this is just how i've done it so that's like my disclaimer i'm not qualified <laughs> yet <laughs> so to create the smile line i've put the gel on i'm using little circular motions to help me move the gel um now because it's a non self-leveling gel it's gonna look a little bit it's gonna look it's gonna look a little bit messy but um a non a self-leveling sorry a non self-leveling gel is going to be easier for you to create your smile line um because you want it to you know you, you want it to stay where it, it is now look it looks like a bit of a mess but pop it in the lamp cure it for 60 seconds and then i've wiped it off the dispersion layer and i've just given it a quick file and you can see we've got a nice crisp smile line and i've just filed over the top just to lean off a little bit then i've got a silicon palette thing i don't know what you want to call it uh, i'm just going to tap out a tiny bit of each of the glitters that i'm using this way I can just pick up what I need. I probably pick, I probably tapped out a little bit too much. So what I'm going to do is, this is my size 4 chroma gel brush. I don't like this one because it's flat. I like them rounded, um, not rounded or ovaled. I like the ends to be ovaled off. Um, I might actually, I'm kind of tempted to cut some of the bristles off this to make it ovaled. But then I'm kind of thinking... I better not because i'll probably ruin it so um i have just ordered a couple more oval gel brushes so they're only cheap ones from amazon they were 6.99 each so hopefully when they arrive they'll they'll do the job but we'll we shall she we shall she <laughs> she sells seashells on the seashore um i am gonna just put a thin coat of tessa on this one then i'm gonna cure that in the lamp for 60 seconds oh look at her in the pot she is lovely in with a second coat so these gels are best used in thin coats. Um, and then over this, we're going to now put a thin coat of the Cool One Step Clear Gel. So this, this is, we're not going to cure this yet. We're going to put the glitter into this. So the first layer of glitter is going to be the Charmed Glitter. So this is the, the sort of brownie gold one. 
Um, I'm just going to put little bits of this. There are like iridescent bits in this as well. So I kind of want to make sure I get a little bit of, of everything. There's also sort of medium and finer bits of glitter in this as well. So if you mix the glitter in some clear gel and then pick up the, the gel with the glitter in, you'll obviously get more of a sort of spread of glitter but this way I can pick up the bits that I want I mean each to their own if you prefer doing it this way you do it this way if you prefer mixing some of the glitter in the gel do it that way um uh, now over this top now start again over this I've done I've gone over again with some cool one step gel after I cured that first layer and then in this layer I'm going to put more of the charmed which is that sort of purpley pinky green one because I kind of want a, a nice mix of because uh, I you know autumn leaves they're not just brown and yellow they are they're like they're like red and purples as well so look we got a sort of mix of everything in there now you kind of see all the different colors so once I'm happy I'm going to pop that in the lamp to cure and for the next now we're going to need some of these leaves so I'm just going to sprinkle some out into a glitter tray so I can more easily pick out the colors that i want the good thing about those is you get all the different colors um so yeah so you can you can pick out the the more yellowy ones or the more browny ones if you want it's entirely up to you this is the pinky so we are going on with meredith now i absolutely oh just think she's a stunning color i wonder if they've got a natalie i don't i haven't seen one maybe they don't maybe i shall say bling line you need to do a natalie if you was a color i'm asking you out there if you was a color what color would you be i don't know what i'd be i, I can't i don't i love all I, I don't know i love lots of colors so it would be difficult for me to choose um right that first coat i've put in the lamp to cure for 60 seconds we're applying a second coat and curing that for 60 seconds and then we're doing what we've done before we're going to put a thin layer of the cool one step gel over the top we're not going to cure this because into this gel we are going to tap some glitter and i'm going to put a mix of both on this one i'm not going to do two layers of the cool one step gel i'm going to just put on the two colors straight just mixing them straight onto this layer i think i do, I do use more charmed than i do karma See this way, I, I like I like doing it this way because I just feel like I can pick bits up and put it where I want it. There we go. And then once I'm I'm happy with that, I'm gonna pop that in the lamp just to set that all in place. I think that's enough. Right now we're going over with another coat of the Cool One Step Gel and on this nail I'm going to pick out some of those leaves. Now I don't want all the same colour, I want different sort of different colours so um, I use the brown as well. They're different, they're slightly different, uh, they're not the same colour on the front of the leaf as they are the back. So yeah, just check, just yeah I had to check which side I wanted to use before I put it on. I just put four on. So I've got two browns, a red and a kind of orangey color. And also when they hit the light, you get like this really gorgeous sort of purpley iridescence from them. It's really nice. So I've cured those in the lamp, that's all set in place. I do need to cap it still, but I'll do that in a minute. I'm gonna do this nail. The index finger, I forgot to, I didn't forget to record. I, I recorded it but I didn't like the design on that particular nail so I started again now when I started again that's when I forgot to hit record so you're not gonna see the design for that one um, but this middle one now I'm going in with Leah um, again two coats of the gel color cure each coat for 60 seconds I love the gold shimmer through this it's really pretty one this one and then this is going to be a leafy nail so we're going to pop that into the lamp and then as we've done before we're going to go over with some cool one step gel and i'm going to place uh, quite a few leaves on this one no glitter though just leaves on this 
again i'm trying i try and pick out the colors that i want I, I i put i wanted to put quite a lot on you don't have to like you don't literally have to cover the whole nail but i did want more than the pinky and again i wanted to use the different colors Okay, so now I am pretty much happy. I'm gonna pop that in the lamp to cure. And then with the with all of the nails, I to cap them, I'll go in with a thin layer of the cool one step gel. Then I don't cure that, I pick up a bigger bead and I will work the bead from the top downwards. So I move it from side to side, making sure that the side walls are covered as well and then I will bring it down. And when you do this, you can get your client, I'm quite lucky because I can just turn the finger upside down, but you can get the, the client to turn the hand upside down so that the gel sort of settles in the middle. Uh, anyway, I do that to all of them. You can see the, the index finger now. I've used Tessa with Meredith. Um, I love them so much. For the middle finger, we're gonna put some crystals on. I like to put crystals on a matte top coat um, because I find that the matte top coat I don't know, I just like, I prefer crystals over matte finish nails because I think it makes the crystals pop more. So I'm using the matte top finish from Bling Line. This comes out with a tacky layer. So you just wanna, when it comes out the lamp, it will still look shiny. Um, so I've wiped off that tacky layer and yeah, and it just makes the nail look matte. And I'm gonna pop some crystals. These crystals are from the Crystal Parade. I'm adhering them to the nail with um, Crystal Totalist Gem Glue. I'm gonna just secure, um, sorry, not secure. Once this flame crystal is where I want it, I'm gonna pop it in the lamp to cure for, um, I'm just gonna flash cure it for 10 seconds so that it's not gonna move. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make like, um, it's gonna look look like a necklace kind of thing. Um, so I'm gonna, I've put the gem glue curved up one side. So the bigger gems are gonna be at the bottom and then as we work our way up to the cuticle area, the gems are gonna be smaller. And I'm using an autumn mix from Crystal Parade for this. I kind of went for a brown, a yellowy and a, a green. And I think, I do I put a red on the top? I'm not sure if I put a red on the top. Yes, I think I do. Or do I? Maybe I don't. Yes, I did look. And then I've done the same on the other side. So we're kind of making it symmetrical. And then underneath the, you can put these caviar beads between each crystal on each side where the crystals meet. Um, I decided not to. Um, if you are, I'm just gonna put like a little, three little rose gold uh, caviar beads at the bottom. If you are not very confident with crystal placement, I would highly recommend that you take Scarlet Center's level one crystal placement course. I have found it really handy um, and I thoroughly enjoyed it. Um, yeah, so that's really good. Um, right, so we're gonna top coat now. It's top coat time. I absolutely love this pinky nail. I think this is gorgeous. <gasps> Look at that, I love it so much. And I like this this one as well. I was really pleased with how my smile line turned out because I'm not very confident doing smile lines with gel, but I think I've done pretty good on this nail. I'm not floating my own boat, but I was happy with it. <laughs> oh dear, no one wants their boat to sink, do they? It's so pretty as well, I love the glitters. Right, this is the index finger. It kind of came out like I really liked how it came out, so I just I just put some of the Meredith through the Tessa and some of the Tessa through the Meredith, and it kind of looked like kind of gave gave it a little bit of a almost like a ripped look. But it yeah I just yeah I absolutely love these two colours together. They're amazing. And um, if you want to get any discount off any of these hard gels from the Little Nail Shop, you can do so using my code NatMug10. The link to the Little Nail Shop will be in the description box below. Um, along with a discount code. Same with nail sugar, you can get 10% off using my code NATMUG10, all in caps, but all the information will be down below. Um, look at these, I absolutely loved how they turn out. 
I was really, really pleased with them. Anyway, I hope you did enjoy this video. If you did, please leave me a like. If you haven't already, do consider subscribing. I'm going to um, announce the winner of the Pay It Forward glitter giveaway that I haven't done yet because I totally forgot about it. I'll do that tomorrow, so keep your eyes peeled. Thanks for watching, and I will see you beautiful lot tomorrow with another video. Love you, bye!